This morning, we are learning more about a hornet that burst into national headlines earlier this month after it was discovered the deadly insect had been spotted here in the United States. It's called the Asian giant hornet, but is commonly referred to, believe it or not, as the murder hornet. Its sting packs quite a wallop as well. In fact, it's been compared to being stabbed with a hot nail. And if stung several times, it could kill a human. Michael Raup is a professor of entomology at the University of Maryland. He's often called the bug guy. He's joining us here via Zoom this morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Jennifer, and good morning, Jacksonville. How you guys doing there? Oh, wonderful, thank you. I have to tell you, when I first heard this, I'm thinking, really, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and now we've got to worry about a murder hornet? All right, let's calm us down here. Do we need to worry about this hornet surfacing and starting to kill people here in our area? Absolutely not, Jennifer. This is an awfully long way. It's only been discovered in parts of Canada, Canada near Vancouver and a few miles south in Washington state. By its normal rate of spread, it would probably take years or certainly decades to cross that border, distribute widely throughout the United States. So everybody in Jacksonville and Florida and along the East Coast, we're safe right now. So go outdoors, enjoy the sunshine. We got enough on our plates right now with COVID, not to worry about the murder party. You guys are okay. Though it's interesting because those who have really perked up their ears about this is members of the beekeeping community. Uh, it, let's first, if we could, let's look at an image of this murder hornet, if we can, and let's talk a little bit about how it might compare to some other bee or hornet, rather, uh, specifically in case, you know, we all need to, and particularly members of the beekeeping community, need to be aware that it is out there and what can be done to identify it. Sure. This is a very large hornet. In other words, this particular insect is going to be two inches long. Most of the other hornets we have here are only at best an inch and a half, perhaps an inch in length. This is going to be much larger than our typical hornets. It's going to have a big yellow head and its abdomen, that last body segment, is going to be ringed with several dark amber or brown bands against the yellow background. It's kind of gonna look a little bit like a yellow jacket on steroids. Yellow jackets, of course, are very common. We're all familiar with those. They have those dark bands on a yellow background, but these guys are gonna be small, very small, half an inch perhaps. The only other hornet that could be confused with is one called the European hornet. And I'm getting a boatload of emails and messages right now about folks that are finding European hornet queens. That one's only going to be about an inch and a half. And that remarkable bending pattern you see on the abdomen is quite different than what you would see on the large uh, Asian giant hornet. You can find these images at my blog bug of the week, or there are several excellent references on the internet. Just Google up Asian giant hornet. Look at those pictures. Yeah, and it's really distinctive. In fact, as while you were talking, we pulled those up that you had sent me. Th that said, why should, you know, we, a community, be concerned about this kind of hornet when it comes to our honeybees? And they're an important part of, of just the domino effect and the structure of, of certainly, you, you know, how flowers are, you know, grow and everything else. Yeah, remember that our honeybees provide more than $20 billion of ecosystem services every year here in the United States. Every third bite of food you take relies on some kind of pollinator. And hey, our honeybees are already imperiled by things like varroa mites, the diseases the mites carry, pollution global warming, pollination sources. So the bees are already have enough stressors on them. They don't need to worry about this particular hornet. The problem with the hornet is it has a very unique behavior. It specializes on honeybees and in the autumn, they will send out basically scouts to find honeybee hives. They will begin then begin to slaughter the bees that come out to defend that hive and after they've killed all the defenders, they will move into the hive. They will raid the hive and take back the brood to feed their own babies. So these can be highly destructive to the honeybees we have here in North America. That's why beekeepers need right now to go to the internet, find out what this looks like, learn how to recognize it, 
and learn what they can do to prepare for this insect should it arrive. Michael Raup joining us from the University of Maryland. Well, I know you're not on campus, you're at home, but that's where you work. Thank you for joining <laughs> us this morning. Very educational, and we don't have to worry about it at this point, but we all need to be on the lookout for it. Have a great day, and we'll be right back. Stay safe.